Hey guys, Richie here from Project Mjolnir, and today we're going to do a review of the first spear amphibian plate carrier, so be sure to stick around. So one of the first things you'll notice about this plate carrier is the complete lack of molly webbing. First Spear eliminated this by utilizing these laser cut slits in the actual material of the plate pockets as well as on the cummerbund. So what this does is this cuts down some weight and provides a really low profile uh, mounting option for all your pouches. Uh, it was specifically designed for the First Spear 612 mounting option with the, the, the Velcro flaps that mount to the back side of this material. Uh, but you can also utilize the First Spear 69, as well as all your traditional Molly pouches that you already have sitting around. The next thing you'll see is the uh, the tube technology. They completely did away with your traditional Molly uh, cummerbund flap style. They mounted these tubes both on the cummerbund as well as the shoulder straps. So what this means is once you set and size your cummerbund on the rear back plate. Um, you never have to try to search for where to put those Velcro flaps in the front, as well as the fact that the tubes create um, a really easy system for donning and doffing your kit. Um, one thing I will say about the tube technology, um, it is extremely durable. However, I do find that you lose about two inches worth of space in what I think is kind of your mission essential zones on your, on your kit. Additionally, for the, uh, for the shoulder straps, the tubes can kind of get in the way sometimes when you're shouldering your weapon. You know, you really have to find that perfect shoulder pocket uh, to the side of the plate. You know, if you come down on top of that tube, uh, it can just create a bit of a, a shouldering issue for your weapon system. Now, one thing I'm a huge fan of on this plate carrier that First Spear uh, definitely knocked out of the park is the fact that they have these integrated combo pouches or mag pouches or whatever you're going to end up using it for. Um, there are a lot of companies out there that have similar systems, kind of like the, uh, the Cry JPC radio pouch or the Tier Tactical or Ferro Concepts options. But the nice thing about the first spear one is that they actually mounted it to the front plate pocket. Kind of tied into the actual combo pouches, they have these, these Hyperlon loops that run up the side of the plate pockets. Now this is nice for running those combo wires from those combo pouches up to your shoulder straps where you can then run them through the sleeves that encompass the actual shoulder straps themselves. So shoulder straps can be a pretty big point of contention for a lot of people. They are a minimalist style shoulder strap and they carry the plate carrier very well. One interesting thing I did find is the fact that it actually has cry precision uh, friction adapters on the back side of the actual shoulder straps. So on the back side of the plate pockets there is a mesh material that is a pocket where you can either put uh, flotation devices, comfort, and that would be where you'd actually place your soft armor. Now in the actual cummerbund itself, there is a six by six inch plate pocket for your side plates. Now another option with those side plate pockets, there are two dividers in there to hold two M4 mags. Now the only issue with that would be drawing those mags, but it is a nice option if you're trying to run some low vis um, setups. So one thing I wasn't a huge fan of was the adjustment of the cummerbund on the back plate carrier. And since the cummerbund mounts via Velcro, I found that I actually had to jam some cardboard in there just to be able to get the pieces to move in and get them set where I wanted to. Um, so that was a bit of a hassle. It would be nice to see if they had a flap that you could actually lift up, access, and adjust your cummerbund where you wanted them to be. All in all, I'd say it's a, it's a great plate carrier. It is a bit on the pricey side for uh, plate carriers in this category. All right, guys, so once again, this has been Richie from Project Mjolnir. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe down below. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I will try to get to all your comments and questions. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check back later. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of gear review videos. I hope to see you guys soon.